Ever wondered what exactly waste means? In biology, we describe it as any unwanted or undesired material left over after completing a particular process. Waste can be categorized into different types. There's solid waste. This includes vegetable peelings, bread wrappers, plastic bags, and other solid things. Then we get sludge waste, which is somewhere between solid waste and liquid waste. This would include human feces or chemicals that have been used in a hospital or factory. Then we have liquid waste. This would be things like urine, used bath water, or any liquid you pour down the drain. Finally, we have gaseous waste. This includes chlorine gas or fumes from a car or factory. So, how do we dispose of all this waste? One of the ways is to burn waste. Waste can also be buried. Organic waste, like vegetable peelings, can be fed to animals. Waste can also be recycled. They usually split into paper, glass, plastic, and tin. Finally, there is garbage collection through local authorities or municipalities from dustpins in public places or our homes. But if waste is not disposed of correctly, it can have negative effects on the environment. When sludge or liquid waste is dumped in a body of water, it can cause an epidemic of diseases like typhoid or cholera. If sewage systems are not looked after, they can leak into rivers or oceans and kill off aquatic life. Burning of garbage, like plastic, can cause air pollution, which can be harmful to people's health. Organic waste left in the open can attract insects and cause horrible odors. And releasing gases into the air can contribute to global warming because of the greenhouse effect. So how can we prevent these negative effects? Firstly, we can recycle. We can reuse things. We can bury organic waste or make compost out of it. We can feed vegetable peelings to animals. Now you know that waste can be categorized into solid, sludge, liquid, and gaseous waste. We also know that incorrect disposal can have negative effects, like disease, killing wildlife, air pollution, water pollution, and can even contribute to global warming. That's why it's important to reuse and recycle. So the next time you're getting rid of waste, think about the effect it could have on the environment. Maybe there's a better way to dispose of it.